these Chinese people were, and I was in this elevator. The doors opened in the elevator, and the first thing that came to my, my mind was not, you know, oh great, I'm having this wonderful heavenly experience. The first thing that came to my mind was, how am I going to get back to Florida? I'm, you know, I'm physically feeling as I'm in China, physically seeing the people, physically seeing, seeing these things around me that were not there when I closed my eyes. And so anyhow, I walk out of the elevator and these thoughts are going through my mind and I just began praying in the Holy Ghost. And it was like revelation glory came upon me and a spirit of knowledge just came upon me and began to show me where to go, what to do. And I was directed down the street. I went down the street, went into another building, walked up the stairs. As I walked into this, this, uh, this room, there was a bunch of people that were there gathered, holding hands and praying. Now, it was not, I don't believe it was a, an advertised meeting. I don't believe it was a, a formal church gathering. It was just a bunch of people that were praying in like this, this office building. And so I went in and I joined them. I did not understand a word of Chinese. I couldn't understand. I couldn't speak it. But I went in and I just grabbed their hands and I began speaking in tongues. I just began joining with them. And I remember sharing this testimony because I began ministering to them in this way, just, just in the gift of tongues. And I remember sharing this testimony um, a few years later with a lady, Sister Debbie Kendrick, who was a good friend of Ruth Heflin's. And I was sharing with Sister Debbie and I said, you know, I don't even understand the reason why Jesus would have sent me into this situation or, or why the Holy Ghost propelled me into this heavenly experience because in the natural I really didn't understand the fullness of what I was doing in the natural I, I didn't see um, how I was maybe making a big difference in the people's lives and I remember sister Debbie telling me she said you know Joshua she said we see in part we know in part we prophesy in part and everything about the realm of the glory is that God's giving us little tiny glimpses into the heavens and we're, we don't see the fullness of it right away. But in the eternal perspective of things, God is just piecing together little pieces of the puzzle and just putting us in the right places at the right time. And God's lifting us by His Spirit and, and causing us to go into areas that He would have us go even when we don't understand the fullness of what we're doing. And that's really what happened with me in that translation experience or in that transportation experience. God l physically lifted me from ministering in Pensacola, Florida. He lifted me into his purposes, set me into China. It, it, it was actually the first time that my feet had been on Chinese soil. And so I believe, you know, there's even part of that about God opening up doors to the nations by putting your feet on the, the soil of the nations. And, um, and God used me in that way just to join with them in a prayer meeting, at the end of the prayer meeting, I began handing out business cards from my, my, uh, my pocket. And I gave out this one business card to this man. And then I left and I, I ended up going back down the road to the place that I came in. And I went back to that elevator and I just lifted up my hands. I just began praising the Lord. And I was back, it, instantly I was back in Pensacola, Florida. Well, come to find out many people that night in the meeting, they had been lifted either to the third heavens and had visions of Jesus Christ, uh, heard God speak wonderful words to them, had encounters with angels. And then there was other people that were lifted into these transportation experiences into the nations, being carried to Africa, being carried to India, these different places in the world physically being, I'm not talking about just, just uh, a visionary realm or just a dream. It was physical transportation into these nations. And, um, and it was absolutely amazing that this had happened. And it was so, when it happened, it was so, so full of glory that it's like, I really couldn't even speak about it immediately because it's like, you know, the Bible talks about ones that were lifted to heaven and they couldn't even talk about the things that they saw or they couldn't talk about all their experiences because of it just having such glory on it. And, um, and that's really what happened. I'm, I remember we went out to the restaurant afterwards and I'm just sitting there like trying to comprehend everything that that happened. And it's like how, you know, in your mind, you try to figure out how did that happen in the natural? How how was I carried into that experience? How how was I lifted? How did God? How is that even possible? And the thing with God is that he takes us beyond the possibilities of man and lifts us into the possibilities of 
the heavens. And that's what happened that night. And uh, several weeks later, we were ministering in Baltimore, Maryland. And we received an email at our office um, from this Chinese man who thanked us for coming and joining with them in their church. I guess that was a church gathering. And, um, and joining with them in that, in that prayer meeting and invited me to come back any time that I wanted to come back. And we were, Janet and I were just floored um, that we would even get this, that not only did I have this encounter, not only did this happen in the realm of the spirit, not only was I lifted in this way, but then we got the confirmation of it um, several weeks later. So that was, that was absolutely amazing. And uh, I believe that it's just a sign of God wanting to bring us and lift us into places that he's called us for. And in the realm of the natural, we say, well, that's impossible for God to take me to that place or it'd be impossible for God to put me in that position or it'd be impossible for God to move me into that arena. But whenever God's called you, whenever he's put an anointing upon your life, whenever he's, he's put his calling upon you, then he'll be the one that will lift you. The Bible says he's the glory and he's the lifter. And in this day, he's wanting to lift us into dimensions of blessing. He's wanting to lift us into dimensions of the glory that we've never known, we've never experienced before. And we might not understand the fullness of it. We might not have the complete revelation. But we can trust that as we see in part and we know in part, God knows everything and he sees the fullness. And he's lifting us into those eternal things of his glory.